So Ashley, take me through your um, extraordinarily successful um, morning. So for Mother's Day, the Saturday before Mother's Day, we decided to do a buy one, get one free gift voucher promotion. So for the month leading up to Mother's Day, we were um, telling clients in Salon about this promotion. And because we did a similar promotion at Christmas, uh, our clients knew about it. So they either cashed in at Christmas and wanted to do it again, or they missed out at Christmas. So they wanted to be a part of this campaign. So we, um, all my staff told the clients about it, it was coming up, they could pre-register. And if they pre-registered, then they could be guaranteed a voucher. So this time we said we're only going to release 50 vouchers um, to um, the total of however much they wanted to spend. The minimum was $50. And then for the fortnight leading up to Mother's Day, we sent out uh, our emails, which we found off the Worldwide Seller Marketing website. It was the three letters. So we sent one out um, the fortnight before, the week before, or then the day before. We also um, pestered them with text messages. I'm not a big one of liking to send out text messages, but I just decided that we wanted to make this a success. So we sent it out a fortnight before a text message. And it was very simple, buy one, get one free gift vouchers, Mother's Day only. Um, and then we sent them out a week before, three days before, and on the day we sent out text messages as well. Uh, so most of our clients had pre-registered and the ones that didn't came in straight away, first thing, nine o'clock Saturday morning. So at eight o'clock, I started taking phone calls and payments. And within the first two hours or less than two hours, we'd made $3,166 in gift voucher sales. And that's on top of your normal day's trading for that day? Yes, yes. So we hadn't even started work on Saturday yet. <laughs> and who bought these vouchers? So we, um, mostly men. So they, we decided to make it the day before Mother's Day because most men do leave it to the last minute. Uh, they would yeah, come into town, because we are a country town, come into town and go, oh, I need to buy something for mum. So we made sure we had our A-frame sign out the front with balloons and had it written on there. But also we made sure the wife knew about it so they could tell the husband. So a lot of our wives were forwarding the emails on or they got the text message sent to them so they showed their husband. So they were already ready to go. Um, when they come in, picked it up and they didn't have to think about it. Real men shop on Christmas Eve. They do. <laughs> so that just goes to show the power of a multi-step marketing campaign, doesn't it? You did a brilliant job of uh, doing multi-step emails and then multi-step text messages. Yes. We found when we first sent out the first email, we had a handful of clients that are probably the organised people in their life and they're like, yes, I want that, book it into my calendar. We probably got more on the second email because it was in the back of their mind, but they didn't act straight away. And then clients like, oh, that's right. I better do that. I remember saying that before. And then even on the last email, we still got people ringing up to register um, for the campaign because they'd got the two beforehand. So I was always a bit skeptical about sending so many emails because I feel like I'm pestering, but actually you're not. You're just reminding them and making them be a part of it. Fantastic job. Well done. Thank you. Um, also, on top of our gift sales, we did up a Mother's Day package and we find that our Mother's Day packages are probably our best packages of the whole year. Um, they're a pamper package and we sold $694 worth of packages on the same morning. That made a very successful day. It did, yes. So one thing we did do with the gift vouchers this time in comparison to our Christmas campaign was we um, made the expiry date a little bit earlier. Then giving them three months, we made it so it was by the end of June. So they had to use their free voucher. So most of our clients came in within the fortnight after Mother's Day and have already used their free voucher. And they've bought products and rebooked in for their next service as well. So we've actually upped our rebooking and we've sold more retail as well because they felt they weren't having to pay for their hair as such. So it was their free voucher. They spoiled themselves with a bottle of shampoo or some makeup or something like that. As it always happens. Yes. <laughs> so how has your salon grown since you joined uh, Worldwide Salon Marketing? Oh, wow. Um, a lot. It grown with me in the sense that when I first started, I've only had my business for three and a half years, and I joined Worldwide Salon Marketing a few months into opening my own salon. And I was 21 and quite naive, thinking, if I just open the doors, I'm good at what I'll do, they'll come. And they didn't. 
So it's actually taught me how to market myself and my salon and also to think outside the square that just a, an advert in the paper, an advert on the radio isn't, the, um, isn't just going to work. I have to do more. And it's also about building client relations. So having uh, Mother's Day voucher promotions and having birthday promotions and all those little things. So as a whole, I think our salon has grown quite quickly by social media and then um, – our stuff that we do in the salon and all our packages, which we would never have had the opportunity to do without your help. Fantastic. Thank you, Ashley. Off to go and make some more money then. Excellent. Thank you so much, Greg. (laughs)